Welcome into Belmont Cardinal basketball tonight. The Cardinals will be taking on the Tremont Eagle Ball Clubs. Coach Chris Hickenbottom of the Lady Cardinals. Coach, a uh, good win uh, on uh, Monday night against Jumpertown. It was. I, was. I was well pleased the way we played. Uh, thought we did a good job defensively and offensively, and hopefully we can take a step up and do better tonight. Claire Maroon and Macy Walker uh, had double figures the other night, and he had nine players scoring for the Lady Cardinals the other night. They did. You know, that's always a good sign. I really like the way we shared the basketball and, you know, a, a sign of team unity is being uh, unselfish, and we have a lot of unselfish players, and uh, I really like the way they're playing together right now. And what about that special presentation at half of the boys' game? Uh, Sabre Behrman with her 1,000th point had that signed autographed basketball. That was pretty neat. It was. You know, that's a great accomplishment for a high school girls basketball player to score 1,000 points, and uh, we're so proud of her and that goal that she reached, and uh, we're just hoping she can put many more up there. But, uh, you know, when a kid plays hard and they work hard in the gym, spend a lot of time in the gym, uh, it's always good to see hard work paid off, and that was a great time to be able to honor for the hard work that she's had. Coach, a little break after tonight for Thanksgiving, then you'll have Tish County again. You're going to get to look at Tish County a few more times this season. So happy Thanksgiving to you and the Lady Cardinals, and we'll see you after Thanksgiving. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coach Chris Hickenbottom of the Belmont Lady Cardinals, stay tuned. Cardinal basketball is coming up. Appreciate Ken Nelson at Nelson Metals making their game possible this evening. Ken buys your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars, even your gold jewelry. Give Ken Nelson a call, 454-7500. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent in Belmont for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, and tax deferred annuities. Give Mike Harris a call for your insurance needs, 454-9624. Gatlin's Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, your Health Mart Pharmacy, bringing you tonight's game. I want to remind you, Christmas is just around the corner, and Gatlin's Gift Department has something for everyone. They're loaded with unique merchandise for gift giving. Check your mail for the 20% Gift Department coupon. Go by Gatlin's Pharmacy in Tishomingo and check out their gift department. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. They'll try their best to meet all your high-reach needs, whether it's trimming or removing a tree. They do debris removal, stump grinding, the steeples. It's all done in a professional manner. They're licensed, budded, and insured. You can call Triple D's, 662-279-7500. Officials meeting with the captains as we're moments away from the start of tonight's basketball game here at Belmont High School. Center Family Medical Clinic, Dr. Steve Center and the staff. They're open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Also, B.J. Moody, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company, located in Savannah, Tennessee. Go by and let B.J. show you the Nissan, Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, and Jeeps at Jones Motor Company in Savannah. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. Mike Montgomery and the staff at Community Spirit Bank of Belmont. J.P. Wyman, your hometown state senator, also bring you tonight's game. Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont and Red Bay. They've been serving the area since 1945. They're now in their fourth generation of service at Deaton Funeral Homes. Steve Bates along with Riley Floyd here tonight. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo Cali Chantry Clerk. Tiffin Motorhomes, they feature Allegro. Also, Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. Your factory authorized New York heating and cooling dealer for three generations. They've been in Venice 44 years at Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. You can call them at 256-356-8913. Belmont Lady Cardinals defeated Jumpertown 68-37. Leading the Cardinals in scoring, Clam Maroon with 15. Macy Walker had 14. Carmen Payne was six. Madison Sullivan was six. Abby Kirkendall was six. Peyton Brooks was six. Olivia Rooker had five. Lydia Lyles had three. Sarah Berryman six. That was a scoring from Jumpertown game. 
So we're moments away from the national anthem here tonight, and we'll have your starting lineups. Remind you, you can get a copy of tonight's game. It is available on DVD. You can contact Jack and Denise Ivey at 454-9797. John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff. Don't forget Tri-State Insurance. Kim Wells, Kalen Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Belmont, and Red Bay for all your insurance needs. They're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee at Tri-State Insurance. In Belmont, you can call them at 454-3304. Red Bay number 356 Four eight zero four. And now our national anthem coming up and our starting lineups, public address announcer Steve Kane. That is your starting lineups tonight for Belmont and Tremont girls. Abby Kirkendall, Claire Maroon, Carmen Payne, Macy Walker, Sarah Behrman will start for the Belmont Lady Cardinals. 
Katie Graham, Haley Robinson, Caitlin Aders, Kaylee Rogers, and Allison Adorn starting for Tremont. Southeast Surplus, Edwin Bolden, located Highway 25 South in Belmont, your Steel Power Products headquarters. They have a huge selection of Steel Power 2s at the lowest price around. Add Southeast Surplus, you can call them at 454-7484. Claire Maroon will jump it against Allison Haydorn and ball in the air. Tremont will control the tip. Graham. Working it on the right wing, Graham back to the top of the key. Graham comes left side with a basketball, straight shot to the basket, lays it up, got the layup. Tremont scores the first points of the basketball game. Belmont on the inbound. Macy Walker loses it on the floor. They'll fight for it. Carmen Payne got the basketball for Belmont, but one foot out of bounds, so it's Tremont basketball. Graham. Goes right wing with it. Now back to the top to Aders. Aders drives. She's going to be fouled before the shot. Abby Kirkendall picking up the foul. Her first, team's first. Streamut leads it two to nothing on the inbound. Graham with a basketball, working it against Kirkendall. Graham at the top of the key, comes left side, gets the block. Tried to go to the basket. She'll take the shot from the outside, from the left side. No good. Kirkendall had the rebound, lost it. They tie it up. Possession error goes to the Belmont Lady Cardinals. So Sarah Berryman will bring it down the floor. Gets it to Walker. Now they'll pass it down to Kirkendall. She loses it, and Tremont comes away with it. Graham at the top of the key, working it against Kirkendall. Goes right side. In the right wing gets it to 24. Shot under there, no good by Aders, and Belmont gets the rebound. Say Berman with the basketball, and they're going to be a reach in foul on Tremont. So Olivia Rooker will check into the game for Belmont as Abby Kirkendall checks out. Walker will throw it in for Belmont on the inbound. Clamaroon in the lane, good. And we're tied at two with 6.34 to go in the opening period. Graham bringing it down the floor for Tremont across the timeline. Graham in the lane, puts up the shot, won't go, and a rebound by the Belmont Lady Cardinals. Walker got the rebound. Carmen Payne from the right corner, no good. Rebound put back up. Missed it, but she's fouled, and Macy Walker will go the line for Belmont. Caitlin Aders picking up her first foul, three months second of the half. First free throw is good by Walker. One more free throw coming up for Macy. Next one up. It is good as well. So Belmont takes a 4-2 lead. Aders works it across the timeline. Aders passes it to the corner. Here's the shot on the way. It's no good by Robinson. Belmont with a rebound. Berryman across the timeline. A little collision gets the ball back. Now we're going to have a foul on Tremont. Aylan Aders picking up the foul for Tremont. That's her second team's third. MedExpress Red Bay, formerly known as Keller Family Practice. Nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys and the staff, they're open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, to take care of all your medical needs at MedExpress of Red Bay. Kind of over and back against the Lady Cardinals on the inbound. So Fremont will get it back. Lentz with the basketball goes to 24. Aders, and they'll work it around 5-3 in the opening period. Belmont leading it 4-2. Driving the baseline, and we're going to have a walk. 
That walk caused by Carmen Payne. Carmen guarding the baseline. Walker back to Berryman. Berryman wide open. Claire Maroon layup is good and she's fouled. Fourth point of the ball game for Claire Maroon. She'll go to the line to shoot one for Belmont. Lentz will check out of the game for Tremont. That free throw good for Claire Maroon. Tremont will get it in to Graham. Belmont leading it 7-2. 5-15 to go here in the opening period. Graham working it against Rooker. Driving the baseline. Here's the shot from 23. That's good for Carly Honeycutt. That's her first points of the game. It's 7-4 Belmont. Sabre Behrman. Gets it to Clamaroon. They want to have a foul against Tremont. Tremont fans wanting a walk call. First foul of the ball game for Honeycutt. Missed shot. Rebound under there by Walker. Berryman with the basketball. They'll set it up. Walker in the corner to Maroon. Claire back out to Behrman. She'll put up the three from the left wing. In and out, no good. We'll have a foul on Belmont on the rebound. Second foul of the half against Belmont. First foul of the ball game for Macy Walker. Rogers with a basketball for Tremont. Belmont leading it seven to four. Shot from the outside, no good. Olivia Rooker with a rebound. Pass down to Carmen Payne. Carmen couldn't hold on to it, gets it thrown back in. Shot by Rooker under there, no good. They'll tie it up. And the possession error will go to Tremont. Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant, owners of the Shade, Jeffrey and Stella Hickenbottom. They're open Thursday and Friday, 4 to 9. Saturdays, 3 to 9. Sundays, 11 to 1.30 at Hickenbottom. We got a timeout by Tremont. 4-11 go in the first period. Belmont 7 and Tremont 4. Milligan Ready Mix, located old 25 North, bringing you tonight's game. Red Bay Hospital. They welcome their new Director of Operations and Chief Nursing Officer, Sherry Jolly. Don't forget their Well Care Center with extended weekend hours open 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. Also on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can call the Red Bay Hospital at 356-9532. Belmont Pharmacy, Bill, Donna Weatherford, Pound Moore, and Kathy Kellum. They're now in their fourth year of business next to Community Spirit Bank in Belmont. They continue to accept most prescription insurances. They are a Tiffin's preferred provider at Belmont Pharmacy. Haley Robinson will throw it in for Tremont. Rogers with a basketball, trying to get it to somebody. They get it to Graham. She'll work it right side against Rooker. Puts up the shot, no good. They're gonna get Olivia Rooker with a foul. Be Olivia's second, team's fourth of the half. So Graham at the free throw line. The free throw is good. <laughs> Olivia Rooker checking out of the game as Abby Kirkendall comes back in for Belmont. This next one by Graham, no good. Behrman gets it to Kirkendall. She puts up the three, won't go. Fremont gets the rebound, but she's double teamed. The ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Belmont basketball. Belmont leading at 7 to 5, 342 to go first period. Berryman on the inbound, back to the top to Kirkendall. She'll try the three. It's good. Abby Kirkendall with her first points of the game. 
Ball goes out of bounds, last touched by Sarah Berryman of the Lady Cardinals. Graham on the inbound. Working it against Berryman, gets it to the corner. They'll go to the basket with it, blocked by Claire Maroon. Now we've got a whistle and a foul on the rebound against Tremont. Sixth foul of the half against Tremont. One more and the Cardinals are in the bonus. Second foul of the ball game. Tremont's Carly Honeycutt. Trying to get it to Claire Maroon. And Carly Honeycutt almost came up with it for Tremont. So Belmont will throw it in his side court. Walker will inbound for Belmont. Gets it into Berryman. Claire Maroon for the right side. Ring up a three for Claire. She's got eight in the ball game for Belmont. A steal by Berryman. Easy layup. It's good. And Tremont wants a timeout. Two fifty-seven to go, first period, fifteen to five, Belmont. Golden Dreams Jewelry. They're located next to the post office in Belmont. Don't forget, you can lay away now for Christmas. All silver and gold chains are half price at Golden Dreams. Sterling silver cross earrings or necklaces, are twenty-nine ninety-nine. After thirty-eight years in the insurance business, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm Insurance agent, Main Street Red Bay, is now ready to meet your insurance needs for your home, auto personal or whatever you may need, whether you live in Mississippi or Alabama. Ronald can now write your insurance. Give him a call at 256-356-4459. Ronald Thorne, your State Farm Insurance agent, Main Street in Red Bay. Fremont on the inbound. Driving it right down the lane, lays it up. It is good. Coast to coast for Katie Graham, her fifth point of the ball game for Fremont. Berryman over to Walker. Walker finds Claire Maroon off Claire to Kirkendall. Back out to Walker. Macy now to Claire Maroon. Goes up with it. Blocked on there by Tremont. Carmen Payne got the rebound. Three. No good by Berryman. Berryman fighting for it. So Belmont will reset it. Comes over to Walker. Right wing. Back to Berryman. Over to Kirkendall. Three on the way. In and out. No good. Rebound. Payne. She's going to be fouled. Carmen to go to the line to shoot two for the Lady Cardinals. Free throw by Carmen up. No good. One more free throw now for Carmen Payne. That one good. It's a 16-7 Belmont lead. Honeycutt with the ball. It goes out of bounds. They're going to get Belmont with the foul. That'll be the fifth team foul against Belmont. Rogers checking out of the game for Tremont. Tremont now will inbound to Graham. Foul charge to Carmen Payne, her first of the ball game. Going inside with it, layup good by Haley Robinson. Her first points of the game for Tremont. Walker, pass down to Carmen Payne. Back over to Berryman. She puts up the three. No good. Rebound. Claire Maroon back to Berryman. They'll reset it. Walker, left wing with a three. No good. Abby Kirkendall with a rebound. Back to Berryman. Berryman driving it in the lane. Has it stripped loose and going to the basket with it and loses it. Claire Maroon lost it. Now it'll go out of bounds. They're going to get Belmont with a foul. Sarah Berryman will pick up the foul for Belmont. That'll be her first. Lady Cardinals already in the bonus. One more foul by Belmont. That'll put Tremont in the bonus. Working it against Kirkendall or Maroon. Shot no good under there by Hot Orn. Tremont gets the rebound with 58 seconds. Now Belmont comes out of there with a basketball. 
Long pass down to Walker. And Belmont threw it away. Good job by Carmen Payne to tie it up. The air will go to Tremont. Macy Walker will check out of the game for the Lady Cardinals. Madison Sullivan comes in for Belmont. 44 seconds. Graham all the way. Lays it up. No good. Claire Maroon comes down with it. Sarah Berryman with 34 seconds. Pass down to Payne. Over to Kirkendall. Back to Payne. Berryman from the top goes. And the shot by Sullivan from the left side. No good. Rebound. Carmen Payne back up. No good. And Tremont comes out with 20 seconds to go. Working it down the floor. That's Lentz with a basketball. Over to Graham. Graham back to the top of the key, 13 seconds. 16 to nine, Belmont, first period. Graham, down to five seconds. Shot is up, no good. Belmont will commit the foul with .8 seconds. Madison Sullivan charged with the foul. Haley Robinson will go the line to shoot two for Tremont. Free throw is up and no good. Next free throw is no good. And that's going to be all of the first period. At the end of one, your Belmont Lady Cardinals 16, the Tremont Lady Eagles 9. This is WRMG TV 12 and Television 97. Kim's Hometown Emporium making her game possible. They ship and sell mattresses all over Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Guaranteed lowest prices at Kim's Hometown Emporium. Give Mike Kemp a call at 662-454-9992. Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff. Golden Road, Red Bay, H&R Block, Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton. Your tax professionals, also Sunshine Mills. Makers that great dog, cat, food, and treats. Grace Long Real Estate, Iuka. Let us help you sell your home at Grace Long Real Estate, 423-5555. Piggly Wiggly, Belmont Iuka and Red Bay, down home, down the street at your Piggly Wiggly stores. Also, Red Bud Supply, Mark and Scotty Payne, making her game possible here this evening. Sid's Training Company in Iuka. I want to remind you, Sid's has got a second location, Highway 72. 617 Highway 72, just past the Tishomingo County High School. Go out and check out the Coyote Tractors and the Skag Mowers. Sid's Trading Company, you can call them at 662-205-6469 or 424-0025 at Sid's Trading Company. Abby Kirkendall with three points in the first period. Eight for Claire Maroon, one for Carmen Payne, two for Macy Walker, and two for Sarah Berryman. Macy Walker throws it in to Berryman, and the second period underway. Back to Walker, back to Berryman. Claire Maroon trying to get it to Abby Kirkendall. Kirkendall went to the basket. The pass went to the right side out of bounds. The whole second period of fouls committed. We're going to be shooting free throws. Both teams in the bonus. Robinson working it right side. Robinson all the way to the basket. Blocked by Claire Maroon. Berryman comes out of there with it. Sabre down the floor. Gets it to Payne. Layup by Carmen. Missed it. Tremont had the rebound. Lost it. Graham got it. It's going to be Tremont basketball. Carmen Payne will check out of the game. Madison Sullivan will come in for Belmont. Belmont leading it 16 to 9. Tremont throws it away. Kirkendall pass down to Walker. Back to Kirkendall. They lose it. But Tremont will come out of there with it. Robinson gets it to Graham. Graham working it right side. 
And they throw it away. Maroon got the hand on it. Berryman with a basketball. Long pass wide open is Macy Walker. The layup by Macy is good. Walker now will four in the game. A nine-point lead for Belmont. Graham working it against Berryman. Graham across the timeline. Comes left side. Puts up the three. Blocked by Berryman. Gets it back. Now Claire Maroon blocks it. Will it be Belmont basketball at side court? Back over to Berryman. We've got an over and back against Belmont. Kind of storage, the only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks, Belmont, and Tisha Mingo bring tonight's game. Graham shot from the right side, won't go. Kirkendall got the rebound. Berryman, long pass down to Walker. She's wide open. She'll back it back out, and they'll reset it. Berryman at the top of the key. 5.50 to go. Second period, 18-9, Belmont lead. Kirkendall with a three from the left wing. No good. Fremont gets the rebound. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist, serving the area since 1998, located next door to the store at Belmont Hotel. Tremont down by nine, Graham with a basketball. 23, that's Honeycutt. Now they'll go back inside with it. 14 misses the shot under there. That was Robinson, and Belmont comes out of there. Berryman with a basketball. Sarah goes it in there against Graham, missed the layup. Fremont's got the basketball and a foul on Belmont. We'll walk to the other end to shoot a one and one now. Carly Honeycutt at the free throw line for Tremont. Her first trip to the line tonight. She's got two in the game. Madison Sullivan will come out for Belmont. Carmen Payne will check in. Honeycutt's free throw, good. One more free throw for Honeycutt on the way. It's good as well. She hit both of them. So Fremont pulls within seven. Saver Behrman bringing it down the floor. Pass down to Walker. Walker in the lane, dishes it off to Maroon. Layup by Claire, good. In in the game for Claire Maroon. Lentz in the corner. Now had it 31. She puts up the off balance shot. And no good by Hador. And here comes Belmont on the other end. Walker loses it. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Tremont basketball. remaining here in the second period, 20 to 11. Belmont with the lead. Five second call, it'll be Belmont basketball. Stone Jewelry family owned and operated for 41 years. Locations in Ripley and Tupelo. Their specialties engagement rings and making the customer happy. You think of jewelry, think of the Stones. Joanne and Teresa missed the shot under there. Tremont with a rebound. Here comes the Lady Eagles. Right down the lane, lays it up. It is good by Haley Robinson, her fourth point of the ball game. Saver Berryman to Kirkendall. Kirkendall back to Berryman. Berryman now work it around. Brooks on the left wing with a basketball for Belmont. Back out to Berryman, back to Brooks. She'll put up the three. It's good. Peyton Brooks. Well, her first points of the game, a big three for the Lady Cardinals. They now lead it by 10. In the lane, shot is no good by Hadorn. She's fighting for the basketball, gets it back. 
Gets it to Graham, working it against Berryman on the right wing. 3.35 to go, second period. Graham, we got a whistle. She carried the basketball. Saver Berryman will throw it in to Abby Kirkendall. And now Kirkendall carries the basketball. So they'll have it right back to Tremont. Smith Handyband Services, LLC. Greg Smith, plumbing, electrical, painting, air conditioning, and refrigeration, including window units. Give Greg a call at 662-424-3159. Lentz with the ball and working it against Kirkendall. They almost threw that one away. Robinson. Look, Graham's way. She's covered by Berryman. Shot from the top won't go. Rebound by Claire Maroon. On the other end, Kirkendall lost it. Fight for it on the floor. Possession error will go to Tremont. Nice game brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Modern Woman of America to plan for your financial future and learn about member benefits. Get to know your Modern Woman representative. Give Ronnie Cook a call at 662-423-8477. And it's good under there, 23, Carly Honeycutt. Her sixth point of the ball game for Tremont. Out of bounds, and it's going to go to Tremont. Sarah Behrman lost the basketball out of bounds, so it's going to be a timeout by Belmont. With 2.22 left here in the second period. Belmont 23 and Tremont 15. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply Safety Apparel, high visibility vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, earplugs made and sold here in Belmont. You can call it 1-800-647-8168, or better yet, stop by and let them know what you need at MTS. Davis Ford in Fulton, Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. They've been in business for over 50 years. Proud to bring you tonight's game. Go by and see Buster Davis and the staff at Davis Ford. Four Street Eagle Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Column. They're located on the Golden Road in Red Bay. Good food at every reasonable prices every day. You'll find it at Four Street. Give them a call for your catering needs as well. 356 2226. Graham on the inbound. Working it against Kirkendall. Graham gets it over to 21. Pull-up shot from the free throw line, no good. They're going to charge Peyton Brooks with a foul for Belmont. So Tiffany Lentz looking for her first points of the ball game at the free throw line for the Lady Eagles. Free throw is up, and it is good. Next one on the way, it is no good. Claire Maroon gets the rebound for Belmont. Berryman with the basketball, 156 to go. Kirkendall gets it to Carmen Payne from the right side, won't go. Rebound by Tremont. As Lentz come out of there with it now on the other end. Shot from the top of the key, won't go. Tremont gets the rebound. Well, 135 to go, and they lose it. Berryman comes out of there with it. Sayro. Right down the lane, puts up the shot. It is good. Sayro with her fourth point of the ball game. And Belmont leads it 25 to 16, a minute 18 to go. Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, bringing you tonight's game. Down to that one minute mark, shot from the right side. is no good, Berryman gets the rebound as Lentz couldn't get it to go for Tremont. Carmen Payne from the right side, it's good. Carmen with her third point of the ball game for Belmont. Missed the layup as Robinson couldn't get it to go. Belmont with the ball and 38 seconds to go. 
Abby Kirkendall with the three. It's good. Abby with her second three of the ball game. And Belmont is out to a 30 to 16 lead now. Down to 20 seconds. Going inside, there's the layup, no good. Graham couldn't get it to go, eight seconds. Kirkendall with the basketball. Carmen Payne left baseline shot, good. And that's gonna be all of the first half at the end of two. Belmont 32, Tremont 16. This is Belmont Cardinal basketball on WRMG TV 12 and television 97. Harold Lomanacker, State Farm Insurance agent, making her game possible here this evening. He's been a reliable agent for 37 years. See him for your auto home condo renters insurance, life, health, disability, business. 423-1231. Harold Lomanac located at 101 North Wilma Street in Iuka. The Tishomingo County Electric Power Association making her game possible. They'd like to remind you they're a member of TVA's e-program. TVA will come in, do an energy audit of your home. More info, give them a call at 662-423-3646 during normal business hours. Read by the Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks, resident of Commercial Installation Service and Repairs. Free estimates on new installations. They're state certified, licensed, bonded, and insured. Get Patrick a call at 662-279-6569. Thirty-two to sixteen, Belmont as we get ready to start the third period. Belmont will throw it in at side court. Macy Walker will throw it in to Sarah Berryman. Now they're going to redo the throw in. Now we're underway. Macy Walker double teamed and Fremont almost came out with a steal. Kirkendall back to Berryman. Berryman gets it to Maroon. Right baseline shot from the corner. Good for Claire Maroon. Graham working it right side as the ball knocked out of her hand and a good job by Walker to knock it back in. Berryman with the basketball. Gets it to Carmen Payne. Payne back to Walker. She'll try the three from the left wing. Good by Macy Walker. Seven in the game for Walker. Graham takes a three from the right wing. No good. She's going to be fouled by Carmen Payne. Katie Graham will go to the line to shoot three for Tremont. She's got five points in the ball game. One out of two from the free throw line tonight. That free throw up and good. Next free throw on the way, it's good. And the last one on the way, it's good as well. So Graham hits all three of her free throws and it's 37 to 19 Belmont. Carmen Payne, back to Behrman, zero. Maroon over to Payne, she'll take the shot from the right side, won't go. Last touched by Carmen Payne for the Lady Cardinals, it'll be Tremont basketball. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont, missing Dustin Brandon, 305 Second Street. If you're planning a wedding in the future, go by and see them. They'll make your wedding dreams come true at any budget at Wildflowers. Graham working it against Berryman. Robinson with it. Now they'll try to go inside. Belmont comes out of there with a steal. Walker had it, she double dribbled with the basketball. Robinson, right down the lane, puts it up. Good, off the backboard for Robinson. Her sixth point of the ball game. 37 to 21, Belmont. Berryman comes over to Kirkendall. Kirkendall gets it to Claire Maroon. She'll take the shot. No good. 
And a rebound under there. Goes to Tremont's Tiffany Lentz. And Robinson loses it out of bounds, so Belmont will get the basketball back. Maddie Jewell's boutique consignment at 102 Main Street, downtown Belmont. Anna Gaddis, your owner. They have jewelry, home decor, spirit jerseys. Go by and see them at Maddie Jewell. Missed the layup. Haley Robinson in the lane, kicks it back out. They'll work it around with 5.30 to go left here in the third period. Aders puts it up in the lane, no good. Kirkendall with a rebound. Abby bringing it down the floor for Belmont. Pass down to Walker. Walker, a little move to the baseline, puts it up. She's going to be fouled by Tremont, so Walker will go to the line to shoot two for the Lady Cardinals. Third foul of the ball game for Tremont's Carly Honeycutt. Free throw by Macy Walker, good. Macy now three out of three from the line tonight. Next one on the way, it's good as well. Thirty-nine to twenty-one, Belmont. Silver Dollar Grocery locations in Golden, Mantanchi and Tupelo bring you tonight's game. That shot missed by Tremont. Rick Sparks, your owner, at Silver Dollar Grocery. They're open Monday through Saturday, eight to six. Lowest prices around on discount groceries at Silver Dollar. Third foul of the ball game for Tremont's Katie Graham. Belmont will throw it in out of the basket to Berryman. Berryman back to. Kirkendall, she'll take the three from the top of the key. It's good. That is Abby Kirkendall's third three-point basket of the evening. Belmont now up 42 to 21. Adders with the basketball, puts up the shot. No good. Rebound by Honeycutt. Shot again. This one no good. Belmont commits the foul. Caitlin Adders will go to the line for Tremont looking for her first points of the ball game. Free throw is up. It is good. Next one all the way, it's good. Kirkendall, the basketball, gets it to Walker. Now to Clamaroon, left side, good. Fourteen in the game for Clamaroon. Shot is no good as Caitlin Aders couldn't get it to go for Tremont. Belmont now with the basketball. We got a whistle. Going to be a foul against Tremont. Clamaroon going to go to the line for the Belmont Lady Cardinals. First free throw by Claire up and no good. That one good by Claire Maroon. So 328 left in the third period. Belmont up 45-23. Graham lays it up in the lane for Tremont. Macy Walker, a little spin move, trying to get it to Clamaroon. Last touched under there by Tremont's Allison Hadorn.
Berryman from the left side won't go. Tremont got the rebound. But Allison and Orton walk with the basketball. So Belmont on the inbound to Berryman. Sarah right down the lane, puts it up, no good. Fremont with a rebound with 2.55 left here in the third period. Graham dishes it off to Robinson, now back in the lane to Hadorn. It's good. <laughs> Fremont turns the basketball over. This is Radio TV and Appliance. They are your Whirlpool Maytag and LG dealer. If you need a washer, dryer, stove, refrigerator, deep freeze, air conditioner, LG TV, they have it for you at Denson's. See John, Greg, or Jamie. Give them a call at 454-3433. So Fremont turns it over. 45-27, Belmont with the lead. Kirkendall to Maroon. Berryman in the lane is going to be fouled. Now they're going to call a walk. So Tremont will get the basketball. Kaylee Rogers will come into the game for Tremont. Tiffany Lentz will check out. Rooker got a hand on it. Now we're going to have a whistle. Going to be a foul. Olivia Rooker picking up her third. Belmont's third of the half. Not too bad fouling here in the third period. We almost had seven fouls at the end of the first period on both teams as the game started. Driving it to the basket, Belmont will commit the foul. Abby Kirkendall picking up her second foul of the game. Tried to go to Graham on the inbound, and Graham went to the corner, so Belmont will get the basketball as Tremont throws it away. Kirkendall back to Walker. Macy gets it to Sullivan. Madison's shot is no good. Rooker runs it down, gets it back to Kirkendall. Here's the three, won't go. Rebound by Allison Hadorm. So Rogers with the basketball. Goes over to 14. That's Robinson. Now Hadorn with it. Double team kicks it back out. A minute 18 left in the third period. Graham, oh, throw up a shot. She walked with the basketball, and she's grinning. She knew it. Daniel Sparks, former Belmont Cardinal, making her game possible. Also, Donnie Bell, he's your District 21 representative. Mac Wallman, your Tishomingo County corner. Walker with the basketball, Macy. Comes over to Olivia Rooker. Rooker trying to go inside to Claire Maroon out of bounds. That one last touch by Haley Robinson of Tremont. Olivia Rooker with a shot from the outside won't go. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be Tremont basketball. So 45 seconds to go. Graham comes back out to Robinson. Robinson on the right wing, comes back to the top. That's Adders with the basketball. Over to 22. Graham now with it, 27 seconds. Graham in the lane, a little collision with Rooker, ball loose. It's going to go out and almost out of bounds as Adorn run it down. Here's the shot on the way. 
three-point shot, no good. Abby Kirkendall will pick up the foul, 22 for Tremont. It'll be Kaylee Rogers, she'll be at the line to shoot three. It'll be Kirkendall's third foul of the ball game. First free throw is up and good. Next free throw is up, it's good. Fremont shooting 12 out of 14 from the free throw line. Make it 12 out of 15. Kirkendall back to Maroon in the lane. Claire shot good. And that'll be all of the third period. At the end of three, your Belmont Lady Cardinals 47, the Tremont Lady Eagles 29. Insurance services in Dennis making their game possible. See Danita Trotter, Deborah Farr. They are your hometown agents at Insurance Services of Dennis. Whether it be your home, life, health, auto, Medicare supplements, and much more, they have access to all your insurance needs at Insurance Services of Dennis. 662-454-0054. Man Oil Change, thanks to Daniel Mann and Man Oil Change at the Railroad Crossing in Golden. Supporting your Belmont Cardinals, the new oil changes, tire rotations, they fix flats and minor repairs. Give them a call at 454-3557. Coach Chris Hickenbottom talking it over the Lady Cardinals. Coach Anna Porter for the Tremont Lady Eagles. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. Try the best to meet all your high-reach needs, whether you're trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning a steeple. It's all done in a professional manner. Give them a call at 662-279-7500. They're licensed, bonded, and insured at Triple D's. Final eight minutes of girls' action underway. Tremont's Graham with a basketball. Rogers. Adorn back out to 14. That's Robinson. They'll work it around. 24. Adorn with it now. Back out to Graham. Eighteen point lead for Belmont. Here's the shot for the outside. Was no good as Rogers couldn't get it to go. Macy Walker get Abby Kirkendall. Abby up with it, missed the layup, and they're going to call the jump. And the possession error will go to Belmont. So Claire Maroon will throw it in. Olivia Rooker to Abby Kirkendall. She'll hand the ball to Saver Berryman. Back to Kirkendall, goes in the corner to Maroon. Berryman back to Walker, over to Kirkendall. Now they'll go in the corner to Olivia Rooker. Rooker back out to Walker. Berryman right wing, going in the lane to Maroon. She's double team, shot blocked by Tremont. It's gonna go out of bounds. That one last touched by Tremont's Hadorn, so it'll be Belmont basketball. 47-29 Belmont, 6.45 to go in the ball game. In the lane, Clamor missed it. It'll go out of bounds. It'll go to the Lady Eagles. Boys action will follow this girls game. Steve Bates along with Riley Floyd here this evening. Graham with the basketball now for Tremont. Robinson lost it. Pass down to Walker. Walker going to be fouled by Graham. She's a little slow getting up. So we got a timeout by Belmont. 6.23 to go in the ball game. That was Graham's fourth foul of the ball game for Tremont. Five fouls and a half against Belmont, four against Tremont. Gallons Pharmacy, downtown Tishomingo, your Health Mart Pharmacy, making her game possible. 
Pharmacist Stanley Pays. Go by and see them, see if they can save you some money on your prescriptions. Don't forget Christmas around the corner. Gatlin's gift department has something for everyone. They're loaded with unique merchandise and gift giving. They've got a uh, mail insert, 20% off coupon. Go buy Gatlin's and use it in the gift department. Be sure to check back often. They have new shipments arriving weekly at Gatlin's Pharmacy in Tishomingo. Saber Berryman will throw it in for Belmont. Gets it in to Kirkendall. Kirkendall with the three on the inbound. Nothing but the net. That's her fourth three-point basket. She's got all threes tonight. 12 in the game for Kirkendall. Robinson right wing. Back out to 24. That's Adders. Adders puts up the shot. Won't go. off ballot shot by Adders, and it'll be Belmont basketball. Layup good by the Lady Cardinals. A 23-point lead now for Belmont. Graham has their shot blocked loose on the floor. Tremont will get it back. Graham driving the baseline, puts it up, no good, she's foul. Katie Graham will go to the line. She's four out of five from the free throw line. Second foul of the ball game for Claire Maroon. Free throw, no good, but Graham. Dorn checking out of the game. Carly Honeycutt comes in for Tremont. Graham's free throw is good. Abby Kirkendall shot no good. Gets her own rebound. Back out to Walker. Over to Berryman. Walker in the corner to Olivia Rooker. Rooker back to Berryman. Berryman to Kirkendall. Walker with the three from the left wing. Good. Macy Walker. 12 in the game for Walker. Belmont up 55 to 30 now. And a steal by Sarah Berryman. Berryman with a layup. It's good. Robinson trying to get it to Graham. Berryman dishes it off. Kirkendall with a layup. Good. 14 in the game for Abby Kirkendall. Graham has it blocked by Berryman. She's fouled under there. So Graham will go to the line now to shoot two for Tremont. Free throw is no good. Berryman will check out. Olivia Rooker checks out. Brooks into the ball game. Madison Sullivan will come in for Belmont. Free throw, no good. Madison Sullivan, excuse me, number three, Ashton Swider. Shot no good. Claire Maroon will follow it up good. And it's a 61 to 30 lead for Belmont. Got shot from the outside, but Tremont no good. Claire Maroon got the rebound. Walker bringing it down the floor. Walker dishes it off. Tried to get it to Swader. Shot on the outside, but Brooks won't go. We're going to call the jump. 
possession arrow will go to Tremont. Sullivan, Swider, Brooks, Walker, and Maroon, your five on the floor for Belmont with three minutes left in this ball game. Graham throws it up off the side of the backboard, no good. Madison Sullivan with the basketball. Gets it over to Walker, she'll put up the three. It's good, Macy Walker. She had 14 on Tuesday night, she's got 15 here tonight. Sixty-four to thirty now. Graham puts up the three. No good. Brooks got the rebound. Trying to go inside to Claire Maroon. Fremont comes out of there with it. On the other end, the layup is good by Carly Honeycutt. Her sixth point of the ball game for Tremont. A minute 53 left in girls action. Boys game will follow this one. Peyton Brooks with the three won't go. And a rebound by Tremont. Rogers with the basketball. Rogers working it against Brooks. She'll back it back out. Honeycutt goes in the lane. Now there's a turnaround shot from the right side. Won't go for Adders and Walker will check out of the game. Claire Maroon will come out of the game. Rooker comes in for Belmont. Carmen Payne back into the game for the Lady Cardinal. A minute 20. Madison Sullivan puts it up. No good. Rebound by Swider. She goes back up. It's blocked. Put back up again. No good. And now we got a whistle. Over the back foul will be called against Ashton Swader. And we'll go to the other end to shoot a one and one with a minute eight to go. Carly Honeycutt, two out of two from the line tonight. She's got eight in the game, free throw, no good. Carmen Payne with a rebound. Madison Sullivan gets it to Swider. Over to Olivia Rooker. Rooker back to Brooks. Now back to Olivia Rooker. She'll put up the three. It is no good. Danced around on the rim. Carmen Payne got the rebound for Belmont. Kicks it back out to Brooks. Peyton shot on the way. No good. She's fouled. Peyton Brooks will go to the line to shoot three free throws for Belmont with 44 seconds to go. Foul charge to Kaylee Rogers, her first. Three months fifth of the half. Free throw by Brooks, no good. Next one up is good. Makes four points in the game for Peyton. Looking to make it five with his free throw. Next one up, no good. Rebound Tremont with 43 seconds. Graham with the basketball. Graham right down the lane, puts it up, no good. Rebound. Olivia Rooker with a basketball with 34 seconds left. Carmen Payne back to Brooks, to Rooker, over to Sullivan. Back to Rooker, Olivia at the top of the key, 24 seconds. Over to Brooks, Payton back to Olivia, 20 seconds. Madison Sullivan's three won't go, rebound Tremont. That one goes off Carmen Payne, so Tremont would throw it in with 11 seconds. And the layup is no good, and that's your ball game. Final score, 65-32. Your Belmont Lady Cardinals with the win. Stay tuned, we got boys action coming up. This is Cardinal Sports on WRMG TV 12 and Television 97.
got Coach Guy Gardner of the Belmont Cardinals. Coach, a good win over Jumpertown Tuesday night. Uh, Connor Allison, Eric Torres in double figures. Yeah, they had good nights, and Logan Fowler had an exceptional night, one of the best games he's played for us. He had a little success also working it inside to Braxton Hogue. He's pretty physical on the inside, ain't he? Braxton works as hard as any kid you'll ever see. No one plays harder than him. What do you know about this uh, Tremont ball club? Uh, they're two and one. They uh, beat Hatley Tuesday night at Hatley, and Hatley, of course, is a 3A team. They, coach Ramey does an outstanding job. They're physical, and they play hard. I was going to say, you got a coach against Ramey. I remember him at Etiwamba. You know, he's a pretty tough coach, ain't he? Yeah, he's really good. Thank you, Coach. Coach Garner of the Belmont Cardinals as we get ready for boys' action here on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Boys, anxious about ready to get underway. Malcolm Kirkendall Gymnasium here at Belmont High School. Steve Bates along with Riley Floyd. Public address announcer Steve Kane will give us a starting lineups coming up for you in just a moment. Ken Nelson at Nelson Metals. They buy your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars, your gold jewelry. Give Ken Nelson a call at 454-7500. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent in Belmont, 454-9624. Your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, and tax deferred annuities. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent. Center Family Medical Clinic, Dr. Steve Center and the staff open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8.30 a.m. 5 p.m. Appointment 454-7170 at the Center Family Medical Clinic. Now our starting lineups for Belmont and Tremont boys. your starting lineups for Belmont and Tremont boys. It'll be South, Hughes, Pounders, Spearman, and Bento for Tremont. Fowler, Allison, Hogue, Allen, and Torres for Belmont. Logan South will jump it against Preston Allen. Official steps in, ball goes in the air. Tremont controls the tip. There's the layup missed by Bento. Loose on the floor. We're going to have a foul against Tremont on the rebound. Hunter Allison got the rebound. Charged the foul to Cameron Pounders of Tremont. 
Braxton Hogue. Now back out to Allen over to Fowler. Now work it around. Fowler comes back out to Torres. Eric at the top of the key. To Fowler. Logan gets it to Allison. Connor gets it to the corner. Now back to Torres. Torres right down the lane, lays it up, missed the layup. Fremont with a rebound. They're going to have a walk. Hughes thought about the shot and took a little stutter step, and the fish were right there to catch it. B.J. Moody, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee, with a feature Nissan, Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, and Jeeps from finance to parts and service. We'll buy and see B.J. Moody at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee. Hogue to Fowler, Logan at the top of the key. Preston Allen with the ball at the left wing, gets it to Connor Allison. Allison. Down the lane, lays it up, and it's good by Allison. Belmont leads it two to nothing. First points of the game coming at 6.32 left in the first period. They're gonna have a collision under there. Braxton Hogue and Afonso Bento collide and under the basket. They'll get Hogue with a foul and Bento will be at the free throw line for Tremont. Free throw by Bento up and good. Hunter Allison with a long three, it's good. Belmont leads it five to three. There's the layup, no good. We got a whistle. Foul will go against Preston Allen, his first, Belmont's second of the half. In the lane, has it stripped loose. Good job of Connor Allison. Stripped the ball loose and comes up with a basketball. Preston Allen with a three, it's good. Belmont out to eight three lead. Fremont quickly down the floor, Braxton Hogue will pick up the foul. It's gonna send Logan South to the free throw line for Tremont. Braxton Hogue second foul, that free throw no good with South. Braxton Hogue checking out of the game for Belmont, free throw up and good by South. Rhett Martin comes into the game for Belmont. Preston Allen with the three, no good. Out of bounds, it'll go to Belmont. So Logan Fowler will throw it in under the Cardinal basket. Gets it into Torres, Eric back out to Connor Allison. Here's the three, won't go. It'll go out of bounds, it'll go to Tremont. Fremont quickly down the floor, ball loose. Shot under there, no good. Who's gonna get the rebound? It's gonna go out of bounds. It'll go to Belmont. South gave it effort, but couldn't get to it. So Belmont now, Therese right wing. Therese. To Fowler, now kicks it back out. Eric Torres with the three. Won't know who's gonna get the rebound. Red Martin comes out of there with it. Gets it back out to Connor Allison. 8-4 Belmont lead, 4.45 to go here in the first period. Allison right down the lane. And that'll draw the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two for Belmont. 
official got three numbers to choose from out of that. Let's see who he comes up with. Number 10, Hunter Spearman charged with a foul. Free throw good by Connor Allison. Free throw good as well. Belmont with a 10-4 lead. Logan Fowler with the ball for the Cardinals. Kicks it back out to Preston Allen. Here's the three on the way. No good. Tremont gets the rebound. Number 11, Cameron Pounders came out of there with it. Now we're going to have a foul on the Cardinals' Logan Fowler. Bella Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County, making her game possible. Community Spirit Bank in Belmont for all your banking needs. Also, your hometown state senator, J.P. Wyman. Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont and Red Bay, now their fourth generation of service. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County chancery clerk. Also, Tiffin Motor Homes as well. Fremont committing the foul. Ball will go over to Belmont. Foul will go against Logan South, his first. Team's third of the half. So Logan Fowler with it. Comes over to Rhett Martin. Rhett back out to Allen. Over to Fowler, left wing. Going inside to Rhett Martin. Rejected under there by Tremont. Now we're going to have a foul on Belmont. It's going to be the fifth foul in the half against Belmont. Rhett Martin's first foul of the ball game. And Belmont commits another foul. Rhett Martin with his second foul of the ball game. Free throw by Bento up and no good. Rhett Martin will check out of the game. Karsten Bryan coming in for the Cardinals. Next one by Bento up, it's good. Connor Allison with the three, no good. Karsten Bryan got the rebound. Connor Allison right down the lane. And he's going to be fouled. Connor go the line to shoot two for the Cardinals. Free throw is up and good. Charged that foul a moment to go to number 34, Devin Pounders. That free throw good by Allison. Connor Allison to come out of the ball game for Belmont. Trey Williams checking in for the Cardinals. 12 to five, Belmont lead. 3.30 to go here in the first period. Bento all the way with it, lays it up, missed it. Rebound by Karsten Bryan. Logan Fowler with a basketball for Belmont across the timeline, guarded by Bento. He'll get it to Trey Williams over to Preston Allen in the corner. Preston brings it back to the top of the key, kicks it out to Fowler. Fowler, a little spin move in the lane. It won't go, and a rebound is pulled down by Tremont's Hunter Spearman. A seven-point lead for Belmont with 2.54 left here in the first period. Here's a three from the left wing. No good by Pounders. Thrown back in between my right to the Cardinals' Eric Torres. Good effort by Devin Pounders, but it's the wrong player. Carson Bryan misses the layup. Tremont now with a basketball. Alan Harden Heating and Cooling, your factory authorized York Heating and Cooling dealer bringing you tonight's game. 
Three from the top of the key. It is no good. By Tremont's Hunter Spearman. Belmont now with the basketball. Logan Fowler. Eric Torres right wing looking to Karsten Bryan. He's covered, so Torres will come back out. Now they get it to Bryan. Goes right through his legs. He couldn't come up with it, so it'll be Tremont basketball. John Dennis Darty, he's your Tishomingo County Sheriff. He's making her game possible here this evening. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. From the free throw line, Bento shot no good. Torres comes up with it. Eric bringing it down the floor. Loses it out of bounds off his leg, so it's going to go to Tremont. Remind you, you get a copy of tonight's game. It is available on DVD. Contact Jack and Denise Ives at 454-9797 or Eric Torres checking out of the game for Belmont. Good block from behind by Connor Allison of the Cardinals. We just checked back in the game. So three months. Bento will throw it in now. Here's a three on the inbound. It's good off the backboard. Cameron Penders with a three for Tremont. Now 12 to eight Belmont with a minute 41 to go. We're in the first period of action. Girls action early tonight. Belmont Lady Colonel 65, Tremont Lady Eagles 32. Shot no good by Allen, rebound by Tremont. Tri-State Insurance, Kim Wells, Kalem Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Belmont and Red Bay for all your insurance needs. There's a three by Bento, no good, and a rebound by Trey Williams. Tri-State Insurance, they're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee, and Red Bay. You can call them at 356-4804, Belmont number 454-3304, Tri-State Insurance. Belmont throws it away. So 52 seconds, Tremont with the basketball. Down by four. There's the shot. It is good, and Belmont commits the foul. Count the basket for Logan South. Three in the game for Logan. He'll have a free throw. Karsten Bryan checking out of the game. Braxton Hogue will come back in for Belmont. Free throw to South up. It is no good. Braxton Hogue gets the rebound. 12 to 10, Belmont, 38 seconds. Trey Williams with the three. It's good, Trey Williams. Big three for the Cardinals, 15 to 10 now, Belmont, 28 seconds. Bento right down the lane, lays it up, missed it. That's one you gotta make. Logan Fowler with 10 seconds for the basketball. Connor Allison. Down to five seconds. Pull up shot from the right side by Allison won't go. And that's gonna be all of the first period. At the end of one, it's Belmont 15, Tremont 10 in boys action. Southeast Surplus, Edwin Bolden, I with 25 South Belmont, your steel power products headquarters. Don't forget they have truck accessories, car supplies. They also have the auto chemicals and Southeast Surplus. Med Express Red Bay, formerly known as Keller Family Practice. Nurse practitioner Kayla Humphers and the staff. They're in the office Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. They can take care of all your medical needs at Med Express. They are a certified rural health clinic. They're licensed by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant, Lachey, Jeffrey, and Stella Hickenbottom open Thursday and Friday, 4 to 9, Saturday, 3 to 9, 11 to 1.30 on Sundays at Hickenbottom's. They invite you to come out and join a meal with them at Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant in Dennis. Milligan Ready Mix, they're located at Old 25 North, also the Red Bay Hospital, making their game possible. Don't forget their well care center. They have corporate rates, 
for employers including Gates, Tiffin, Sunshine, and Franklin County employees. You can call them at 356-9532. Second period underway. Logan Fowler with the ball for Belmont. Gets it to Connor Allison. Now they try to get it to Braxton Hope. Pass just a little bit off to the right. And it goes out of bounds, so it's Tremont basketball. Well, pressure being applied here by Belmont. Not much, but just a little. And Tremont turns it over. Trey Williams going to have the easy layup. It's good. Trey now with five in the game. Bento on the inbound. Belmont up 17 to 10 now. Bento right down the lane, lays it up, missed it. Connor Allison. Allison off the glass, missed it. Now we've got a whistle and a foul on the rebound. It's going to go against the Cardinals. We'll walk to the other end to shoot free throws for Tremont. Braxton Hogue has picked up his third foul for Belmont. Number 20 will check into the game for Belmont. J.C. Anderson as Braxton Hogue checks out for the Cardinals. Free throw is up. It is good. Cameron Pounders coming out of the game for Tremont. Next free throw up. It's good as well. So a couple of free throws made by Logan South. And Tremont pulls back within five, 17-12, with 7.05 to go here in the second period. Logan Fowler now back out to Williams, over to Allen. Preston now back to Anderson. Now they'll go inside. Preston Allen is good. Preston with his fifth point of the ball game. A little collision over there. They're going to get Logan Fowler with a foul. Logan with his second foul of the ball game. He'll check out. Eric Torres will come back in for Belmont. Bento at the line, free throw up and no good. Williams gets the rebound for Belmont, gets it to Torres. Seven point lead for Belmont. Trey Williams kicks it to Allison. Allison over to Preston Allen, three on the way. In and out, Nig went in. Look like he's gonna come out. Preston Allen, his second three, he's got eight in the game for the Cardinals. Lead up to 10 now for the Cardinals. With 6.20 to go. Shot no good by Spearman. Belmont with the basketball. Preston Allen to J.C. Anderson over to Torres, trying to get it to Preston Allen. He stepped out of bounds. Hunter Spearman. Going to be Belmont basketball. So Eric Torres will throw it in for the Cardinals. 22 to 12, Belmont with six minutes to go. Here's a long three, but Connor Allison no good. Rebound by Tremont. Now we got a whistle and a foul. Eric Torres with his first. Free throw is up and good. Fans holler Tremont five fouls. They'll change it on the clock now. Free throw is good. So a couple of free throws for Jesse Sarton of Tremont. 
Connor Allison. Allison drives it to the basket. We got a whistle blocking foul against Tremont. So Eric Torres will inbound for Belmont. Gets it into Trey Williams. Back to Allison. Connor gets it to Anderson. JC kicks it back out. Now we're going to have a walk on Connor Allison. Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pound Moore, Kathy Kellum. Now their four, four year business, Next Community Spirit Bank Belmont. They offer full line of over the counter cold and flu items. And Belmont Pharmacy, don't forget, have multivitamins and homeopathic remedies as well. That foul will go against Trey Williams. Bento is going to the line to shoot two for Tremont. Free throw by Bento up and no good. Gage Wilson come out of the game for Tremont, 34. That's going to be Devin Pounders checking out for the Eagles. Also 14 coming into the game. Wayne Hughes. Bento, next free throw up. It is good. It's three out of six from the line tonight for Tremont. 22-15 Belmont, 5-17 to go here in the second period. Connor Allison drives it right down the lane, kicks it out. Here's the shot all the way. No good by Avery Kirkendall. Follow-up no good. Rebound pulled down by Tremont's Hunter Spearman. Bento hands it off. They're going to have a foul against Belmont. Mutt. Trey Mutt in the double bonus free throw up. It is no good. Next free throw up. No good as well. So Logan South couldn't hit either one of those. Connor Allison on the other end. Goes out of bounds off the leg of Connor Allison. Fremont blocked the shot. Coach Guy Gardner will call the timeout. Well, 4.48 to go here in the second period. Belmont up 22-15. Golden Dreams Jewelry in Belmont next to the post office. Lay away now for Christmas. All sterling silver and gold change are half price. The Carmelian sterling silver jewelry is half price. In need of a gift for a special child in your life. They carry jewelry specially made for children. Go by and see Paulette Emory and the staff for the lowest prices around at Golden Dreams Jewelry located right there next to the post office in Belmont. Bento with the basketball for Tremont. I'll work it around with 440 here in the second period. Here's a shot from the corner. Won't go. In and out by South. Now a foul on the rebound. So now we'll go to the other end to shoot a one and one. Third foul of the ball game for Tremont's Hunter Spearman. Connor Allison, he's four out of four from the free throw line tonight. He's got nine points in the ball game. Free throw up. It is no good. Fremont gets the rebound. Layup no good. That time by Spearman, so Belmont with a basketball. 22-15 Belmont, 4-12 to go. Torres over to Allen, Preston. 
Thought about it, comes back out to Kirkendall. Kirkendall back over to Allison. Hunter back to the top to Torres. He'll try the three, no good. Tremont gets the rebound. Spearman came down with it. Three on the way, no good. by Cameron Pounder, so low. Connor Allison with a three from the left wing. That one goes in and out. Tremont throws it back in. Three from the top of the key, no good. Rebound by Connor Allison. Preston Allen's three from the left corner, no good. Allison goes up for the rebound, gets it to Torres. It's good. Eric with his first points of the game. We've got a timeout by Tremont. Three oh four left here in the second period. Belmont up twenty four to fifteen. Ronald Thorne, your State Farm Insurance agent in Red Bay, making her game possible after thousands of calls throughout the years inquiring about insurance from her neighbors who live in Mississippi. Ronald Thorne can now take care of all your insurance needs. Give Ronald Thorne a call at Raymont layup under there, good by the Eagles. Seven point lead for the Cardinals with 2.35 to go. That one goes off the foot of Connor Allison out of bounds. Liberty Security, trained professional security for your business, armed and unarmed guards. Give Mike Kemp a call at 662-454-9992. Call Mike for your free quote. He has 38 years in the law enforcement security business at Liberty Security. Foul goes against Tremont's Dwayne Hughes, his first. Logan Fowler bring it down the floor for Belmont. Kirkendall hands it to Torres. Torres gets it to Logan Fowler. Hands it to Kirkendall. Now to Torres. Torres in the lane, lays it up good. Bento with a basketball in the lane, puts it up. J.C. Anderson blocks it for Belmont under there. Good job of J.C. Here comes it on the other end. Preston Allen with the ball back to Fowler. Logan pull up in the lane. It is no good. Spearman came down with a rebound. Tremont now with a basketball. That's Hughes with it. Gets it to Bento. Bento in the lane. Puts it up. It's good. Five of the game for Alfonso Bento. 26-19, Belmont lead with 55 seconds to go. We're in the second period, Torres with it. Eric at the top, 
Comes right side, Logan Fowler. Logan with a three, won't go. Gets his own rebound, good job of Logan. Eric Torres right down the lane. It is good, and count the foul against Tremont. Thirty-eight seconds, twenty-eight to nineteen. Eric Torres had the steal and took a shot to the face. He's going to be all right, though. Red Mud Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff in Red Bay bring you tonight's game. Logan Fowler, J.C. Anderson will come out of the game. Trey Williams into the game. Free throw, no good. Grayson Stone into the game for Belmont as well. Down to 17 seconds. We're going to have a walk against Hunter Spearman of Tremont for 14 seconds. Timeout on the floor, 14 seconds to go before half, 28-19 Belmont. H&R Block, Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton, your tax professionals. Also, Sunshine Mills, makers of that great dog, cat, food, and treats. Grace Long Real Estate, Iuka. Let us help you sell your home at Grace Long Real Estate. Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, Iuka, and Red Bay. Also, Red Bud Supply, Mark Chumley, and Scotty Payne. Preston Allen will throw it in for the Cardinals. 14 seconds to go. Preston Allen puts up the shot, good. Shot at the buzzer by Bento, no good. At the half, and boys action, it's Belmont 30 and Tremont 19. This is WRMG TV 12 and Television 97. This trading company, I wait 25 south at Iuka bring you tonight's game. Now is the time to get that new mower. Prices have never been better. The selections are great. Bush Hog Zero Turn Mowers are dependable and solid. They're offered in a state, commercial, and professional series. Go out to Sid's Highway 25 south at Iuka and check out the Bush Hog Zero Turn Mowers. You can call Sid at 662-424-0025. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County, bringing you tonight's game. Also, Econa Storage, the only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks, Belmont and Tishomingo, 423-8767. Fremont with a basketball, and we're going to have a foul against Connor Allison on the inbound. Be Connor's first of the game. Bento with a three from the right wing, in and out, no good. Braxton Ho got the rebound. Connor Allison with the basketball for the Cardinals. Now we're going to have a foul against Bento of Tremont. That'll be Bento's second foul on the inbound, Braxton Hogue. It's good under there by Braxton. So Belmont now with a 32 to 19 lead. Hughes pass over to Bento. Bento loses it. Tremont comes back up with it, lays it up and in. 
Good job that time by number 10, Spearman, getting his first points of the game. Preston Allen in the corner, driving the baseline to the basket, puts it up good. So we got a timeout on the floor. 6.57 left here in the third period, 34-21 Belmont. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist. Located in downtown Belmont, next door to the historic Belmont Hotel. They're ready to help you in any way at Belmont Chiropractic, accepting new patients. Dr. Moss appreciates your business at Belmont Chiropractic. Stone's Jewelry family owned and operated for 41 years. Locations in Ripley and Tupelo. Their specialties engagement rings and making the customer happy. You think of jewelry, think of the Stones. Joanne and Teresa wishing the Cardinals good luck here tonight. And a layup under there good by Spearman. Preston Allen to Connor Allison. Connor gets it to Preston in the lane. Fowler, it's good. Logan Fowler with his first points of the game. Smith Handyman Services, LLC. Greg Smith making her game possible here this evening. Shot under there, no good, but a walk on Tremont, so Belmont to get the basketball. Give Greg Smith a call at Smith Handyman Services, 424-3159. They do plumbing, electrical, painting, air conditioning, and refrigeration. That includes window units. They install and repair hot water heaters as well. Connor Allison misses the layup. Spearman came out of there with it for Tremont. 13 point lead for Belmont, 5.55 to go here in the third period. Hughes with the basketball for Tremont, gets it over to Bento, Bento, pull up shot from the left side, good. Seven of the game for Afonso Bento. Collision. Ball goes out of bounds. Preston Allen will throw it in his side court for Belmont. Three, Connor Allison no good. Tremont gets the rebound. So Bento with the basketball. Bento drives it. It's no good. We've got a whistle on the rebound uh, against Tremont. Second foul of the half against the Tremont Eagles. That will be the fourth foul of the ball game for Hunter Spearman of Tremont. Logan Fowler trying to go to Preston Allen and Tremont comes away with it. That one out of bounds. That one will go off number 14, Dwayne Hughes out of bounds. Eric Torres for the Cardinals, the ball to Connor Allison. Gets it to Logan Fowler, goes to Torres in the right wing. Hands it to Connor Allison. Allison missed the layup. Fremont got the rebound. They go to the corner. Here's the three on the way. No good. Eric Torres with the basketball. Throws it away. He's trying to get it to Connor Allison. Bento with the basketball for Tremont. Now, I'll work it inside. Loose in the floor. Still by Logan Fowler. Logan Fowler will go to the line. Shoot two free throws as Tremont commits the foul. Lane violations for the free throw won't count by Fowler. Ball 
Bell Green girls defeat the Red Bay Lady Tigers by two tonight. Red Bay Tiger boys leading at 37-26 over Bell Green at the half. Belmont leading here 36-25 with 3.53 to go in the third. Here's a three from Bento from the right wing. It's good. Preston Allen with the ball for Belmont. Gets it to Trey Williams. Williams over to Fowler. Logan gets it to Preston Allen. Back to Torres. Gives it to Logan Fowler. Trey Williams now with the ball. Logan Fowler loses it out of bounds. Going to go over to Tremont. Time out on the floor with 2.59 to go here in the third period, 36-28 Cardinals. Modern Woodman offers financial services and fraternal member benefits to individuals and families serving your community. Call Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477 to start the conversation. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply. Forget they make custom signs. They have decals and banners. They've been in business for over 40 years. They will call it 1-800-647-8168 at MTS. So Tremont will throw it in. Number 11, Cameron Pounders will inbound for the Eagles. Hunter Allison with a steal on the inbound. Down to Logan Fowler, back out to Trey Williams. Williams, a little move, has it stolen away. Official says, you fouled him, so he'll call the foul. Foul charge to Cameron Pounders, his third, team's fourth of the half. Three from Connor Allison, good. Thirteen in the game for Connor Allison. So the Cardinals up by ten. Driving it in the lane, puts it up. It is no good. Rebound, Preston Allen. Connor Allison with a long three won't go. Rebound by Tremont. Quickly back down the floor. Here's the layup. No good. Tremont got the rebound. They threw it back in, but they threw it to Trey Williams. Williams tried to go to Connor Allison. Pass down, and the layup good by Tremont. Logan South with that basket for Tremont. It makes it 39-30 to Belmont with 1.43 to go. Preston Allen left corner thought about the three. He comes back out. To Connor Allison over to Trey Williams to Fowler. Fowler gets it to Allen. Allen over to Allison, left wing. Allison gets it to Preston Allen in the corner. Preston puts it up in the lane. No good and a rebound under there by Hunter Spearman. So Tremont with the ball. Minute 15. Turn around in the lane. No good. Braxton Hogue with a rebound as Dwayne Hughes couldn't get it to go for Tremont. So with a minute to go here in the third period, Cardinals up by nine, trying to get it to Connor Allison. He threw it back in, but it went right to Tremont's Logan South. Here comes the Eagles. Right down the lane, layup good by Dwayne Hughes. His first points of the game. Tremont pulls within seven. Connor Allison misses it. 
Fremont hits it. There's the layup. Good, and they're going to call Preston Allen with the foul. Count the basket for Tremont. And Bento will go to the free throw line. Trey Williams will come out. Eric Torres will come in for Belmont. Preston the second foul of the ball game for Belmont. Free throw is up, a three-point play for Tremont. And the Tremont Eagles have pulled within four of the Cardinals here with 32 seconds to go in the third period. Logan Fowler with a basketball. Drives it right down the lane, kicks it over to Connor Allison from the corner. It's no good. Preston Allen got the rebound. Now Allen will try a three from the corner. It's no good. Rebound Tremont with 13 seconds. That one will go out of bounds. They're going to say Tremont, the last one to touch it. So the Cardinals will throw it in with eight seconds, and we're going to get a foul on Belmont on the inbound. Logan Fowler was pushing off, and the official calls it. Tremont with eight seconds will inbound. Shot is up, no good. Put back up, no good. They call Tremont with a foul under the basket. So Belmont will get it with 3.8 seconds. Third foul of the ball game for Tremont's John Turner. Trey Williams with a three at the buzzer, no good, and we'll move to the final period of action. Tremont has pulled within four of Belmont. It's now 39 to 35. Last foul charge to Jesse Sarton to Tremont, his second foul of the ball game. Davis Ford in Fulton, Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer, Buster Davis and the staff making her game possible. Davis Ford, they've been in business for over 50 years. We'll buy and see them for the best deal around at Davis Ford in Fulton. Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lauren Brent Column on the Golden Road in Red Bay, open Tuesday through Thursday, 10.30 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 10.30 to 10. Sunday's 10.30 to 9. Good food every day at reasonable prices at the Four Story Grill and Steakhouse. See them for all your catering needs as well. 356-22-26. Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, bring you the game. Harold Lomanek, State Farm Insurance Agent in Iuka. He's been your reliable agent for 37 years for all your insurance needs. He's located at 101 North Wilmoth in Iuka. Perez almost lost it, and now we got a foul on Tremont. That'll be the seventh foul in the half. That'll be a one and one for Belmont now. Torres, 0 out of one from the line. That free throw good. Next free throw up, it is good. Second one won't count. Forty to thirty five Belmont. Spearman with a basketball for Tremont. Working it against Torres. Dwayne Hughes right wing back to the top. Torres almost come up with a steal for Belmont. 
Driving it to the basket. It's no good. Belmont commits the foul. Preston Allen will pick up the foul for Belmont. Jesse Sarton at the free throw line for the Tremont Eagles. That free throw is good. He's now three out of three from the free throw line. Next one up, it's good as well. 40 to 37, Belmont. Braxton Hogue back out. Logan Fowler to Torres to Allen, Preston. Back to Hogue, over to Torres, trying to get it to Preston Allen. This one will go out of bounds. It'll go to Tremont. So Tremont will throw it in. Tremont is pulled within three of the Cardinals. Spearman. Has it stripped loose. Now a steal back by Bento. And they're going to get Bento with a foul, and Tremont fans are not happy with that call. Connor Allison at the free throw line. Free throw is up. It is no good. Fremont gets the rebound. Shot missed. Now the over the back foul to go against Tremont. 15 is going to pick up the foul. That's going to be Logan South. Tishomingo County Electric Power Association making her game possible. They still offer a rebate on hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. They're focused on providing efficient, reliable service to our TCEPA customers and members. Good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams from Tishomingo County Electric Power. Braxton Hogue at the free throw line for the Cardinals. Free throw up and good. One more free throw now for Hogue. One more foul on Tremont to put Belmont in the double bonus. That free throw, no good. Tremont gets the rebound. So a four-point lead for Belmont. Here's a three from Jesse Sarton. No good. Fremont Spearman goes up with it. He's going to be fouled by Belmont. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Preston Allen picks up the foul for the Cardinals. Spearman at the free throw line. It is up, and it is good. Fourth foul of the game against Preston Allen. Next free throw by Spearman. It's no good. Preston Allen gets the rebound. Well, three-point Cardinal lead with 6.35 to go in this ball game. Trey Williams to Connor Allison. Allison down the lane. Count the basket. He's going to be fouled. We've got a timeout by Tremont. 6.26 to go in the game, 43-38 to 38 Belmont. Foul charge to Gage Wilson, his first. Belmont now the double bonus. Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, the new residential and commercial installation service and repairs. Free estimates on new installation. They're state certified, licensed, bonded, and insured. Give them a call at 662-279-6569. Denson Radio TV and Appliance in Belmont. See John, Greg, or Jamie for that Whirlpool Maytag or LG. You need a washer, dryer, stove, refrigerator, deep freeze, air conditioner, maybe LG TV. They deliver absolutely free. They service what they sell. Free throw good. 44-38 Belmont, 6.18 to go. Wayne Hughes driving it in the lane, puts it up. It's good. Yeah. 
Preston Allen over to Connor Allison. In the lane, it's good by Allison. Bento, a little pull up in the lane. Good! Bento nails it for Tremont. And Cardinals up by four. Allen over to Connor. Allison drives it to the basket. It is good. In the lane, Bento missed it. Logan Fowler got the rebound. Preston Allen to Braxton Hogue over to Logan Fowler. Now to Connor Allison. We're down to five minutes to go in the ball game. Belmont up by two and with the basketball. Allen driving at the baseline. Collision under there. Tremont commits the foul. Allen to go to the line to shoot two for the Cardinals. Silver Dollar Grocery, Golden Mantancha and Tupelo. Lowest prices around of discount grocers. Open Monday through Saturday, eight to six. Rick Sparks, your owner at Silver Dollar Grocery. Preston Allen's free throw is no good. Next free throw by Allen up. It is no good. Fremont gets the rebound. Wayne Hughes in the lane. Good. Wayne Hughes had a couple of big baskets for Tremont, and the Eagles pull back within four. So Logan Fowler goes right side to Torres. Torres going inside loose as Hogue couldn't come up with a basketball. Steal by Allison. It's good, and Tremont commits the foul. Free throw now for Connor Allison. Free throw is good. Belmont up by seven now. Dwayne Hughes gets it to Bento. Bento drives it in, puts it up. No good. Rebound Logan Fowler. Long pass. Eric Torres wide open on the other end. Lays it up good. They left Torres wide open. Sarton gets it to number 15. They'll kick it back to Sarton. Here's the three. No good. Braxton Hogue got the ball now. Torres with it for Belmont to Fowler. Trey Mudd had pulled within three at one time of the Cardinals. Now the Cardinals pull back out 53-44. Eric Torres. Gets it to Preston Allen. Spearman picks him up. He'll hand it to Allison. Now, over to Fowler. Cardinals working on a little clock. 3.20 to go. Nine-point lead for Belmont. Preston Allen over to Fowler. Now back to Torres. Over to Allen. They'll hand the ball to Connor Allison. Allison. Drives it right down the lane. He's going to walk with the basketball. Tremont throws it away on the inbound. Hogue over to Torres to Connor Allison. He'll hand the ball to Fowler. We've got a timeout, Belmont. So 2.49 to go in the ball game. Belmont 53, Tremont 44. Maddie Jill's Boutique and Consignment. They're located at 102 Main Street in downtown Belmont. They have name brand selection of men's, women, and children's clothes and shoes. And again, it's your owner at Maddie Jill's Boutique and Consignment. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts. In Belmont, don't forget to have one-of-a-kind jewelry, silk and live flowers, 
and unique gifts for all occasions at Wildflowers. They're located at 305 2nd Street in Belmont. Missing Dustin Brandon are your owners. Man Old Change at the railroad crossing in Golden. Thanks to Man Oil Change bringing you Cardinal basketball this evening. We'll do oil changes, tire rotations to fix flats and do minor repairs. Give them a call at 454-3557. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont and Red Bay making their game possible. Insurance Services and Dennis, see Anita Trotter, Deborah Farr. They are your hometown agents. For all your insurance needs at Insurance Services of Dennis, you can call them at 454-0054. Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne at Red Bud Supply also making their game possible here this evening. Logan Fowler with the ball for Belmont on the inbound, working it against Bento. Gets it across the timeline to Allen. Preston gets it to Braxton Hogue, and Belmont walks with the basketball. Tremont will get it into Dwayne Hughes. Spearman with it now. Almost lost it. He'll lay it up. Missed it. Connor Allison with a rebound. Allison going to be fouled from behind by Dwayne Hughes. Connor Allison at the line. Dwayne Hughes, fourth foul of the ball game. Free throw good by Allison. That free throw good. Eleven point lead for Belmont. Long three. It's no good. Not back in by Tremont. Dwayne Hughes right down the lane. Missed it. Connor Allison's got the rebound. Now they're going to get Hughes with a foul. And now we got a technical against Belmont. Connor Allison will draw the technical against Belmont. Their correction, Connor's going to shoot the free throw. Dwayne Hughes. Free throw up and good. Next one all the way. It's good. He called the technical and pointed at Connor. And Looked like he was calling it on him. Now Connor will come out of the game. So apparently, he called the foul on Tremont, so Connor shot the free throws, and then Connor drawed the technical. Now Tremont will shoot the technical free throw. So they did call the technical on Allison. That free throw good. We'll get it all ironed out here in a minute. Next one all the way, it's good. Connor Allison got the free throw after the foul against Tremont, and then Connor drew the technical foul. So Tremont hits both of those free throws. We got a timeout on the floor with 1.55 to go. It's 57 46 Belmont. McWaman, your Tishomingo County corner, bringing the game. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. Also, Daniel Sparks, former Belmont Cardinal, making her game possible here this evening. So it's 57 46 Belmont, a minute 55 to go. Fremont will get the basketball. It's 
So Bento's going to throw it in for Tremont. And he walks with a basketball. Jesse Sarton walks with a basketball for Tremont. Torres loses it. And Tremont calls a timeout. So it'll be Tremont basketball. When play resumes, Ken Nelson and Nelson Metals, they buy your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars, your gold jewelry. Give Ken a call at 454-7500. Mike Harris, your farm bro agent, located in Belmont for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, and tax deferred annuities, 454-9624. So Tremont basketball. They're going to come over to the scores table for just a moment. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent in Belmont, helping you is what we do best. Life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, tax deferred annuities. Give Mike Harris a call at 's Pharmacy in downtown Tissue Mango, your Health Mart Pharmacy. Stanley Page is your pharmacist. Also, Triple D's Bucket Service. They're licensed, bonded, and insured. Give them a call at 662 279 7500 at Triple D's. Checking the books over at the scores table. Whatever it is, they've got it figured out. And now we can play basketball. With a minute 49 to go. Bento is going to throw it in for Tremont. He'll get it in to Spearman. He'll take the three. It's no good. Who's going to get that rebound? Tremont had it. They lost it. They get it back. Missed the layup, follow-up no good, rebound, and we're going to have a foul against Belmont, 15 for Tremont. That's going to be Logan South going to go to the line to shoot two for the Eagles. Free throw by South is good. Logan South, four out of eight from the free throw line for Tremont this evening. Here's the next one up. It's good. Devin Pounder is going to come into the game for Tremont as South will check out. Preston Allen gets it into Logan Fowler. Fowler bringing it down the floor for Belmont. Gets it over to Hogue. Braxton going to hand it to Kirkendall. Back to Hogue. Belmont working on some clock, and Tremont's going to stop the clock with a foul. 34, Devin Pounders charged with a foul for Tremont. So Braxton Hogue's at the line for the Cardinals. 0 out of 2 from the line tonight. This one up. It's good. Ten-point lead for the Cardinals, 58-48. A minute 23 left. Hoag's free throw up. It's good. No good. Rebound by Tremont. Bento. Comes to the left wing. Here's a long three. It's good for Tremont. As number 11, Pounders, got his second three. Cardinals turn it over. 
Fremont's going to get it at side court. Down by seven, a minute six to go. They get it into Bento. Bento working it against Fowler right down the lane. He lays it up. It's good by Bento. 58-53, five-point lead for Belmont, 53 seconds. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Tremont basketball. So Bento's going to throw it in for Tremont. He gets it in, up with a shot. It's good for Tremont. And we've got a timeout by Belmont with 47 seconds to go. Belmont 58, Tremont 55. Center Family Medical Clinic, Dr. Steve Center and the staff open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 8.30 to 5. B.J. Moody, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee, the Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, and Jeeps. Let B.J. show you their large selection of new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs at Jones Motor Company. Community Spirit Bank, Belmont, for all your banking needs. J.P. Wyman, your hometown state senator. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk. Also, Tiffin Motorhomes, featuring Allegro. Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. In business 44 years, your factor authorized your Keating Cooling dealer for three generations. Let me see Belmont basketball. Logan Fowler. They're gonna Fremont's gonna commit the foul. Free throw is good. One more free throw for Logan Fowler. Next free throw up. Logan hits both of those. Belmont up by five, 41 seconds. Long three. He got it, number 11. Cameron Pounders with his third three. It's 60 to 58. And Tremont will commit the foul to stop the clock with 28 seconds. Connor Allison's been good from the line tonight. It's up. It's good. Ten out of 12. We'll missed that one. 61-58, it's a three-point game. Sarton lost it, it's loose on the floor. Tremont got it, and he walked with a basketball. It's going to Belmont. With 18 seconds, Preston Allen's gonna throw it in for the Cardinals. Allen looking to get it in, gets it in to Logan Fowler. They'll foul him. That'll stop the clock with 16 seconds. It may take all night to finish this game with 16 seconds. Fourth foul of the ball game. Free throw good by Logan Fowler. Next free throw by Fowler, it's no good. Got to have a quick basket for a Tremont fan. There it is, 62-60. They'll call the jump. Tremont's going to get the basketball. For five seconds.
And they're gonna have to refix the clock, the score clock. Sixty two sixty Tremont with a basketball five seconds. It's on the inbound Sarton goes up with it missed it. Tremont got the rebound. We got a walk on Tremont Well, one second. That's going to be your ball game. Belmont wins it in a thriller here. Sixty two sixty over the Tremont Eagles. Your Belmont Lady Cardinals victorious here tonight as well. Thanks to all of our sponsors who made her broadcast possible. For Belmont Cardinals Sports, I'm Steve Bates. Riley Floyd, until next time, good evening to you, and God bless you.